Division champion Auburn Tigers coach Gus Malzahn will ask coach to make an opening statement and then we'll take your questions. Coach? Okay, first of all, uh, you know, we're very excited to be here. Uh, thank you to Commissioner Sankey and the SEC for putting on a great event. Um, you know, this is really uh, the, the most first class event that, that I've been fortunate enough to be a part of in the past. I know our team, uh, real proud of those guys as far as getting us here with the journey that we've had playing a great Georgia team, you know, one of the better teams in college football, one of the most talented teams in college football, and the challenge of playing those guys again, you know, for the second time. And then, of course, it was just a couple of weeks ago, that w which makes it very unique. But uh, excited for our, uh, our players, excited for our coaches and our fans. Uh, Greg Collier, Action Sports and News. Coach, you've gone down into the red zone 53 times. Each time you're in there, you come out 48 out of 53, you've come out with points. What is it about this team that makes it so efficient once it gets into the red yeah, zone? Yeah, you know, I think to be effective in the red zone, you have to be able to run it in. And I think at times we've been effective uh, doing that. And then, of course, you throw in Daniel Carlson that we talked about earlier. You know, he's just a huge weapon down there. And um, so, you know, that's been a big key to our success getting here in our red zone red zone points. Uh, Coach Bill Bender, Sporting News. Um, Jared earlier in the week was talking about his growth, and he seemed to focus more on whether it was the loss against Clemson or LSU. So how much easier is it for you to coach a guy that seems motivated by those losses more than talking about his wins? Yeah, I mean, that's just uh, that's the type of player he is with the character he has. He's a great competitor. He's extremely tough on himself. Uh, you know, you're talking about a guy that the first game was, was very inexperienced. I think he only had four games under his belt before he got here. And you've seen him get more and more comfortable uh, each week. And like you said, he's went through some adversity. And when you go through adversity, you find out truly what's in you. He rolled his sleeves up. Um, you know, he's been protecting the football. He's been using his legs more, which has opened up things uh, for us in our offense. He's playing a high level right now. Okay, we'll go over here on the left on the wall. Greg Collier, Action Sports and News. Coach, Stedham is averaging 223 yards a game, and you got carry on running for 127. Uh, he's thrown for 16 passes, and carry on has ran for 17 touchdowns. Yeah. So my question is, how important is it to this team to, to have that such balanced offense? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, when we hired Chip Lindsey, that was really the first thing we talked about in, in his opening press conference, that he was hired to bring balance. And, um, you know, he's done exactly that. I think we're one of the most balanced teams in our league. Um, and really, that, that's, that's been a big key. And the better team that you play or the more talented defense you play, the more balanced you have to be to be successful. And Coach, we'll go down here to our left, second row. Coach Dan Matthews, Gridiron now. Uh, remembering back to the last time you guys played the midfield meeting when you said C in Atlanta and you said something along the lines of, I'll, I'll tell Nick, what made you confident that you would be seeing this team again? Yeah, I think I said hope to see you in Atlanta. But regardless, I'll just say this. Kirby, we, we've went against each other numerous times. We have a lot of respect for each other. Um, you know, I just had a feeling we'd play uh, again. Oh.